Today's video, I'm going to show you the three different types of scrims that I use in photography. I'm going to show you how I use them, why I use them, and at the end, I'm going to show you how to make your own for next to nothing. Come with me around the studio. Okay, so first up, we have the standard frame system. This is like the classic design. So we have, see if we'll focus, there we go. A knuckle on a C-stand, which comes into one of these, and we just attach the scrim paper, which is some diffuse fabric across here. They also get used for flags, which block light. So if we head over here, there we go. This is one being used as a flag. There's actually stage curtains from the theater that closed down. Um, it's better than the material they sell you with, so it's really absorbent. Now these are the most expensive way to do it. I'll, I'll try and find some links to them, but you're looking at about 200 pounds for a setup like this. However, this is how I often do it. What we have here is a C stand with a boom arm and then just a roll. So we can get that to come down in a dignified manner. There we go, of tracing paper. Now this soft box here is absolutely massive, but these are still pretty big. I think I've got nothing for comparison. So look over here. That's a one meter soft box. That's a big bit of tracing paper. These are much cheaper. And they're great because they are so cheap. You've got a decent sized roll. There we go. I pop a link in the comment, the comments. I pop a link in the description to these. They're really good. But what we're going to do is make one out of a picture frame. So let's head back to the workstation. So what I've got here is an old picture frame from Ikea a hot glue gun with a rather scary knife next to it. And then we're going to attach the scrim to this and I'll show you how we do it. And there we have it, one scrim. Very similar to this, much cheaper though. Now you probably have something like this knocking around for the clamping part of it, but for the rest of it, a picture frame, either go to a charity shop or find an old one which is past its best in your house. I think these are my partner's old picture frames, but we go through loads of them, so pretty useful. These clamps, if you haven't got one, are only about four pounds. So there we have it, the picture frame, the tracing paper and the clamp. I think all in, even if I bought it all from new, it's £15 for all the tracing paper, £5 for the picture frames, £25 for the clamp. So £25, but you've got enough tracing paper left over to probably last you a year. So I hope that quick video was of some use to somebody. I've just realised I've got loads of mess back there. I was going to pretend that I was doing a food shoot, but I wasn't. I had steak for breakfast. I'm feeling a bit lavish today. Thanks for watching. If you like these, do hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.